Good morning from Trinity Episcopal Church. Today is Thursday, the 17th of September. I hope this day finds you well. We are often, this morning as I was getting up and thinking about so many of the things that are happening around us, the fires in in California and Oregon and Washington and the the hurricane that has hit the Gulf uh, Coast, and um, of course the continuing the continuing uh, pandemic. Uh, so I am going to offer prayers this morning. As we begin, I'm going to offer prayers for those folks who are most affected by those those issues as well as folks who are dealing with their individual issues and pain. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. O most gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you in prayer asking that you be with all those who are suffering in body, mind, and spirit this day especially those who are affected by the devastating fires on our country's west coast, those who once again have had to face the wind and the rain and the floods brought on by a hurricane, and those whose health and well-being have been so heavily impacted and continue to be heavily impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. We also ask this morning that you hold out your arms and in those arms embrace all those who are struggling this morning with other illnesses and conditions that threaten them. We make our supplication to you that you will let your comfort, comforting presence be known to them and render them the help that may be best for them. We ask that you bring your healing presence and power to all those who care for everyone who is suffering. Be with them as they watch and wait and serve. Relieve their anxiety and grant them the strength to face the future in hope. Ease their minds and comfort them in this time of stress. And bring your wonderful healing power to the, your entire human family. We also ask your blessings this morning on those who are the first responders, those who serve the sick and those who serve those who live in fear. Be with them, the first responders the doctors, the nurses, the technicians, and all those who are serving those who are ill in body, mind, and spirit. Hear our prayers of this, your people, who humbly Request all of this in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We have much to be thankful for as well. We, we do need to be thankful for those, those people who are, who are serving, not only the people who are affected by the hurricane and by the and by the fires and by, pan, by the pandemic, but those who just daily serve all of us, who bring us, who bring us, who bring us joy in their service. We need to be thankful to them as well. And so this morning I would like to turn to page 836 in the Book of Common Prayer and offer a general thanksgiving. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the beauty of this world and for the wonder of life and for the mystery of love. 
We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments that satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit that we may know Christ and make him known. And through him at all times and in all places, we give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Sometimes I find that I get so bogged down in the th- the things that I see going on around us that are that are negative that I forget um, that there are so many other things that are in our creation that are so positive and so we always want to remember in the midst of in the midst of things that aren't going well for us that we do have many many reasons to give thanks to God. I hope again this morning finds you well. I hope you remain safe. I sincerely pray that God's healing power will be will be on all of be upon all of us that we will find the strength and the courage to face whatever it is that we need to face in in hope and peace and love. Uh, Please remember that Mother Anne will be with you tomorrow morning at 8.30 for another uh, prayer and meditation. And Brother Les Roberts and Chris Paul will be with you every evening, Monday through Friday, for Compline. And I hope you will will join them for Compline as well. Sunday we will have um, a church service at 10 a.m. via Zoom. If you... um, If you're able, I would like to invite you to join us for that service. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Have a great day.